Hi, welcome back to another Red Ted Art. Today I'm going to show you how to make this programmed Christmas pudding. It is so cool and it's a joint effort between Carrie Ann from Geek Girl Diaries and myself. I will show you how to make the felt and at the end of the video head over to Carrie Ann's and find out oh, how you create your very own special message coded Christmas pudding. You can write anything from Merry Christmas to I love you or anything ho, ho, you ho. want. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Let's get started. So let's put away our hex bug, hex bug, code bug, sorry, and our Christmas pudding. The first thing you want to do is get some silver bells, or if you've got red ones um, already, even better. But if you've got silver bells, what I did was I popped one on, the, on a toothpick like this. I used my finger at the back and I painted it using enamel paints or nail varnish. I let them dry. Enamel paints dry really quickly. I can put a link below to enamel paints that I used. And then you let them dry like this, sorry, balancing over a glass. So it's a really good way of getting red bells if you haven't got any. Also, if you don't have bells, that's okay. You can use a little bit of red felt for the um, the berries. So don't worry, use what you've got at home. So the first thing you need to do is find a glass like this that fits your code buck. Now it's important that there's a good space above and below because you need to be able to sew or glue around it. So this is a really good size for my code buck. So I'm using this as my stencil. So the first thing I'll do, so I'll use a pen and I'll draw a circle. Now, obviously this is dark fabric, so you won't see the pen mark very well, but I can just about make it out. Um, if, you, if you've got chalk, that would work really well for dark fabric as well, but otherwise, um, you know, this is just a little bit tricky in terms of being able to see what you're doing. Then you cut out your circle. Um, you obviously can't see the pen marks, but I can just about. It's literally just about being able to see it. Now I folded over my fabric to get two circles cut at the same time. Hmm, let's see if I did that neatly or not. I think, um, yeah, that looks good. And then also you'll need half a circle of white. So I'm gonna use my, um, uh, my, my brown now as a stencil because it is a little bit easier. And all the t meanwhile, whilst I'm doing this, my hot glue gun is heating up. Like I said, you can use, um, you can sew all around it, you know, just a simple either running stitch or blanket stitch would look really nice. Um, or you can use a hot glue gun, which is, which is a little bit easier or quicker. Now you've got your circle one, circle two, and your half circle. Now you take your half circle and you just cut some wobbly edges into it. Again, it's not an exact science. You know, uh, just have, give it a little wiggle and that should be enough. So look at that, it's already coming together. Let's put these to the side. Now, where did my red ribbon go? Here we go, here's some red ribbon. Also, you will need um, some hollies. Now, again, I'm used to cutting things freehand. If you're not so comfortable cutting freehand, just draw one out of paper first and then cut your hollies out. But I've cut so many hollies in my lifetime. <laughs> I can feel reasonably confident to cut these out freehand. So there we go. Almost done. It's not an exact science. Here we go, got some hollies. Look at that, your Christmas pudding is already there. Almost there, isn't it? So move that. I'm hoping my hot glue gun is ready. Uh, whilst I'm still waiting for that to heat up just a little bit more, I'm going to get my bells ready. A little bit of um, twine. Again, you can sew them on if you want, but you know, I'm just making this a no sew, nice and easy project. You do need a hot glue gun though. It does kind of work with normal glue, like P good PVA white glue, but to be honest, I think a hot glue gun is better in this instant. So now I've just put these um, bells on my string. Like that so they're nice and tight and I think I'm gonna well we'll trim that later actually it's good to trim it as you go along now let's see how my hot glue gun's doing I think it's getting there so the first thing I'm gonna do is secure my hanging ribbon you know have it whatever length you like this is a bit long I'm gonna shorten a bit All right so the first thing you want to do is secure your hanging ribbon so I'm gonna put a little bit of glue there like so put the top bit another bit Okay, then I'm gonna put some glue on here, all the way around. 
Now, like I said, you can sew these parts on. In fact, I think I've got a hand sewn Christmas pudding on my blog, so I can put a link to the hand sewn one on there if you feel that makes it easier. Now I'm going to position these. I think I want this to go underneath. So I'm going to glue that on. I'm going to glue that on here. Like so. Now hot glue guns are hot, so please be careful. And then I'm going to put my holly on top of the glued bit. Like so. And then you can trim your string at the back. So maybe add a little bit more glue here just to make sure they're really secured. There we go. And then you sometimes get these sort of stringy bits from your hot glue gun, just, just grab those. Now, here's the interesting bit. So you've got your, later your code bug will slide in here, look. So what you wanna do is you wanna put glue from there to there, all the way around the bottom but not at the top, yeah? Literally just the sides. So. And the same if you're sewing, you just sew up the sides. Like, oh, that almost stuck. To, oh my goodness. That stuck to my surface. I might have to add some more glue now. I see, I was trying to do it quickly so that you have a nice short video before you go over to Carrie Ann's coding tutorial. There we go. Now you line them up like so. Okay, so. And now you'll see your code bug fits in nicely. Ah, but what about the uh, display I hear you say? Well, what you do now, you've got your code bug nice and snug in there. You take some little sharp scissors, nail scissors are good for this, and you make a little hole into the middle. This is why felt's good, because felt doesn't have to be stitched. So now I've made a little hole, and I'm gonna slowly cut it. Don't cut too big to begin with. It's best to just sort of see where your code bug sits. And then you can neaten up your hole in a minute. So now I know where my circuit forward is. So I'm gonna just cut across, like that. I'm almost done. Cut down the side and then cut over. So you cut the hole out afterwards because then you see exactly where your code bug is sitting. You don't cut it before. There we go. Give it a little wiggle. And there you have your code bug Christmas pudding ornament. And the great thing about this one as well is if you tuck in your, um, your ribbon like so, you can sew on a little badge at the back and you can wear it as a little uh, badge as well. So that's the um, how to make your Christmas pudding tutorial. Now be sure to hop over to Carrie Ann's and read about how to use the code bug and program it to say something you want it to say. So this has been a really, really great collaboration between sci science and art uh, and I really hope you have a go. Anyway, speak to you soon and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.